We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. But let's play what they said on Gills Arena. Let me put a little music up and I'm going to let it play for a second. And then I'm going to come back and give my commentary because Kenyon Martin and I respect Kenyon uh, commentary, uh, comment, commentary most of the time. This time I don't. He said Bronny James plays well. He knows the game and that he's a winner. How in the f is Bronny James a winner? What does he want at? He's been on teams with, with players that are winners, but what has he done to be a winner? He knows how to play the game. How? I can name 20 things this boy do wrong just from a simple standpoint of knowing the basketball, knowing and having basketball IQ. I can name 20 things he do wrong. Number one, he don't sprint the floor. He don't even run for layups. And I pointed that out. And he goes, oh, well, we don't want him uh, acting like he's his father. Well, his father run for layups. His daddy run for layups still at 39 years old. So why don't his son do it? I don't get what Clutch Sports is doing to this league, but it's, it's atrocious. I didn't think he should play down there no matter what. Yeah. <clears throat> but... It'll be good for the G League for attendance, right? Mm. If they're trying to help him in that regard, it'll be good for him going the road to help with it, um, to help with attendance. Um, but I, there you have it. Bronny is there to help with attendance. <laughs> I mean, we already know this is the cash cow thing. This is all about money. So Bronny is there to help with attendance. Let's keep going, Kenyon. I just think it's. He doesn't have bad habits as a basketball player. So would hate for him to start to develop bad habits playing in the G League, trying to become that aggressive player that y'all say, right? I get it, what y'all are saying, but at a detriment to, he plays the game the right way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's unfortunate, but it's fortunate that it that it, that is that with him. Um, he's a winner. So what comes from it, I don't know. Does he need the experience? Absolutely. So it's, it's. Did KJ been out there? For a brief, for a few games. And what did he, did he, did he like the idea? Yeah, because he went down there and he played and because they were, they wanted him to go, because him and Kevin Porter went down there together. They had mm -hmm. just traded with Kevin Porter. So um, KJ and Kevin Porter went down to a G League. So Kenyon is basically going to tell y'all that him and his son went down to the G League, but his son went down there and was killing in the G League. And that's what you expect anybody to do that touch the NBA court. There's levels to this shit. You expect people to play in the G League that are not as good as the guys in the NBA. And then they play in the G League, which is a developmental league, until they're good enough for the NBA. Now, riddle me this. How are all the guys that left the Lakers roster, including Quincy Oliveri, better than Bronny James, but he's the one who got drafted? If the 55th pick meant nothing, but Bronny James is the one who got drafted, but he's playing worse than the people who did not get drafted, make it make sense. But wait till you hear Gilbert Arenas say he should be around Quincy Oliveri. <laughs> And she, I can look at the numbers now. KJ had played great. Like, so he went down there with a goal, and but it was only for a month, maybe, I think it was. And oh, this man, back. Kevin Porter was out for a while and then got traded. Yeah. They played. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So they went to the G League together, and they went down there and destroyed the G League and went back and started playing right away. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, so, so it was a plan, right? Mm -hmm. For it to be that, yeah, for him to have the green light to go down there and just, hey, work on go. Some work on your, just go do you, right? Yeah. That needs to be the message, I believe. If he's going to do it, let that be the message. Let him go on the road then. Mm -hmm. let, him, let him help with attendance. Let him do that yeah. for the month or whatever it is going to be. You never know what he's going to become in that, right? You yeah. Just get him back. But you know, I, just, I, I just think it's bad habits around yeah, the league. Yeah. And he might how opposing the teams going to treat him. He might need that <clears throat> roughness. No, what I'm saying is, like the road, like, like, like the, uh, the Warriors. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Is the, the, is the road built for his name? 
No, yeah. so uh, the, last week I like, said that Bron Bronny got first class travel. Uh, I was mistaken. Shout out to Miles Simon. Who <laughs> They're on here where this kid is playing basketball horribly, and his daddy is LeBron James, which they keep forgetting about, which his daddy is the one who put this type of pressure on him, which his daddy is the one who's saying that he could have played better than players in the league right now. And it was laughable. But his daddy didn't tell you that Quincy Oliveri, an undrafted guy, was going to put some mm, question marks in that statement. Because if your son can't beat an undrafted player, then how is he going to play against other drafted players? This doesn't make any sense. This is despicable. It's disgusting. And this is damage control at its finest. Man, let him, is, he might, uh, they got courtyard married out, so. Let him experience. He gonna, his, his security going to be there. Yeah. Oh, his, his personal security. He got personal security. So that's. Because you know. He's not going anywhere with, with him without yeah. personal security. Yeah, yeah, he didn't come to high school with yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, he getting guaranteed money. He good. No, no, I'm just talking about. Because I used about to think though. when I used to see the security at the basketball game, right, where he used to stand, I used to be like, man, if you can't get from the stands to the court, in time, you need to lose your job, Mr. Mm -hmm. Security Man. You used to, you used to be right behind the bench. I'd be like, dude, if you can't make it from the front row mm -hmm. on the court, <laughs> listen. Yeah. I was thinking about making gonna... yeah. publicity and because yeah. you got to remember, when he plays, it's not going to be a, it's going all kids. Yeah. Like, he has the kids, yeah, so, right? So it's not like they're the four seasons. Yeah. I'm sick of this narrative that Bronny has the kids. He don't have no kids. He have people watching him for the crash out. He have people watching him because he's LeBron James' son. Like he has the kids, he has the adults, he has everybody. People are watching, be just like Gills Arena is watching because his name is going to bring clicks and views. So stop the bullshit. Salute to you, Cino. I know he's listening now. Like this is the you need to stop listening to me, boy, because you don't listen in the right way, and you just embarrass yourself again. You embarrassed yourself again. Let's keep going with this tape. Hotel, six, whatever. If I'm just exactly right. Or you're married. It'll be that. The bomb boy family. It's, 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 it's only one in certain. A yeah. lot of them oh, cities they go into. It's only one hotel. One hotel. So they right? know where they go. It's a three star, and that's where they stay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bring your lunch. Right? Bring your <laughs> lunch. Right? <Bring> <laughs> some of them like that. One, the Warriors, the Sacramento. Uh, oh, yeah. Like uh, one thing I do like, and I will, I would, I will keep him down there. Is I'll say, you know, Quincy is an older kid. He's you know fifth year senior. He has an aggressive mind. Right. He understands the game. Now my he would keep him down there because Quincy has an aggressive mind. He understands the game. Hmm. Bronny James has been living with arguably the best player to ever play the game. A guy who actually has a podcast that says mind the game. So you're living with the guy who minds the game, but Quincy Oliveri knows the game more than Bronny James. Quincy needs to teach a drafted player the game. See, this is what happens when you put these little chihuahuas in the ring with guys who really want it. This is what happens when you put these privileged kids in an arena, you should not take away competition. This is like sanctioning a boxing match and then tying the strong hand of another person up and letting Bronny go out there and fight. Bronny has had every advantage in the world known to man and still had four points in the G League. What does that tell you? We said, do not send this boy to the G League. It's going to be bad. And guess what? It's going to get worse. Because the more they tell Bronny to go out there and shoot and go out there and do this, he don't even know how to conduct himself in the pick and roll. The kid goes out there. Yeah, I, I forgot. You're right. Don't forget. Five turnovers. Five. A rookie, five turnovers. They can't manufacture hunger. Damn sure can't. You can't duplicate this shit. It's either in you or it ain't. 
fifth year senior, all that crap that they trying to say it don't matter because the 17th pick is on his team. Why in the world would Gilbert Arenas say that Bronny James need to stay to the D League to learn from an undrafted player because he's hungry, but not learn from Dalton Connect, the 17th pick because he's hungry? Make it make sense.